What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be taking the new and improved All Vegito team on Global for a spin on the Patara Super Battle stage and find out just how good Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is outside of his main team, which of course is the crossover team. Now, as you can see, here is the layout, or here is the setup. Pretty stacked team. We got Int LR Vegito, Fizz Vegito Blue, um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, STR, Goku and Vegeta slash Super Vegito, AGL Super Vegito, Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, or Vegito Blue, and finally a friend Int LR Vegito as well. And uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Oh, by the way, if you guys um, were curious, for anybody that cares, this is the shirt we're wearing for today's video. Shout out to the homie Joseph, by far my favorite character in the entire franchise. I just got this shirt today, super excited about it, so there you go. And uh, yeah, let's get this showcase started. We got Super Saiyan 4 Vegito on the first rotation. And um, yeah, ideally I want to link him up with Vegito Blue, but I mean, this also works, I guess. Let's see, uh, we get, damn. So five out of seven links. We're missing Kamehameha and Saiyan Roar, but nobody on this team actually has Saiyan Roar, so we're never gonna get that. But I think with Vegito Blue, we actually get six out of seven links. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's the best linking partner for him. Anyways, um, that's a pretty good start. 102k defense. Uh, is that gonna be enough? I'm not sure, actually, because it's been a while since I've taken on the Patara stage. And I remember it wasn't too bad back in the day, but I also am a little bit worried. But you know what? Let's just let's just risk it. Okay, we are always so careful in these videos. Let's just take one turn and uh, play it a little bit less safe. And if we die here, then it's f okay. We're getting supered immediately. 190k. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. We're taking about 15, 16k. Uh, 2.69 million attack and doing some good damage. And as you can see, after we super, we uh, do actually quite, get quite a bit more defense, right? He raises defense on his, on his super attack for one turn, so um, our defense probably went up to about 1. Point, I was gonna say 1.4 million, no, uh, 140, 130 to 140k after that super. So we tank the normal hits much better, right? Like 16k compared to double digits after the super. So. Honestly, I feel like I was a little bit worried for no reason. Um, ooh, this is gonna mess up our rotation here, but I wanna put Vegito Blue in the third slot to link up with uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, right? So um, I'm actually gonna pop an item here just because we have all type of disadvantage in the first two slots with all those attacks, um, even though that even though the Vegitos have very high defense, right? Um, with type of disadvantage in Super Battle Road, you still gotta be very careful. So we can take out Veku here. And then, um, yeah, we're not going to take out the fat go tanks, but it should be fine. As long as we have the other Icarus active. Yo, by the way, check out the, the, the HP on this team. 670,000. 670,000. That's crazy. That's a whole lot of D. Uh, why do I keep thinking defense? Whole lot of HP. It's not the highest. It's not like the max, but it's definitely... Um, up there for sure. Yeah, look at that. Yo, even with the Icarus active, we still took 108k. If I hadn't popped that item, we probably would have taken at least two, three hundred easily. All right, so on this turn, um, we're still missing Saiyan Roar and Kamehameha. Uh, I'm going to actually put the AGL Vegito there. I don't think we're gonna get supered again, so I don't have to worry about him too much. And you know what, even though Vegito Blue is a beast, like the, the tech one, I'm actually going to keep him in the third slot for the entire fight because we already know what he does, we don't need to showcase him, and um, he also has the high chance to dodge in the third slot, so I actually feel much safer about keeping him there compared to the first or second slots. Hey, okay, 2.8 mil for that super, really good tanking, looking good so far for Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, man. Let's see. Uh, a couple days ago, actually no, it was like two days ago, I made a video showcasing the crossover team, and in that video, I was like a little bit conflicted about like whether or not I felt like Super Saiyan 4 Vegito 
was the better unit or Super Saiyan 4 Broly, because offensively, Super Saiyan 4 Broly blows Super Saiyan 4 Vegito out of the water, right? Like, it's really not even that close as far as who does more damage. Like, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito does good damage, really good damage, but Broly does way better damage on the crossover team, right? Especially linked up with Vegito and with another support, he's getting like 4.2 to 4.5 million attack per super. But one thing that I didn't really consider in that video, and people, you know, brought it up to me after, was the fact that um, Vegito is just more viable on more teams, like Patar, for example. So after giving it some thought, I still think that, uh, yeah, Vegito is the better unit, but yo, people better put some respect on my boy Super Saiyan for Broly's name, okay, because he definitely deserves that respect. Okay, this is gonna hurt. I should have used an item. Uh oh. Uh, I mean, you know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Because after we took that one super, the rest of the attacks only did do double digits, right? So as long as we don't get supered again this turn, we'll be fine. Or if we get supered by Gotenks um, against the Int LR Vegito, that's also gonna be fine. Because, you know, type advantage and all that stuff. So I'm not that worried. Um, oh, Gotenks is dead. It worked out. It worked out. All right. That was a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was a little bit scared there. Uh, okay, so we finally got the Vegito Blue. And as you can see, yeah, the Vegito Blue Linking Partner. And as you can see, they share six out of their seven links um and should i okay so we're getting a super we're getting supered in the second slot if i do this then even if we get supered we have a high chance to dodge even if we don't dodge though we probably won't die right right <laughs> guys um no we probably won't die we should be okay so yeah, we're going to take uh, these normals for nothing, get some nice counters in. And uh, you know what though, we might even just kill Gogeta before he has a chance to uh, to even hit us, you know, so... Yeah, I'm not concerned. Yo, give me like one more super though. Just give me like a sec. There we go. Okay, with the second super, and then Vegito supering. Wait, they're all Vegitos. This Vegito supering. Give me a crit. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so. Oh! Well, that was a pleasant surprise. That, that was a pleasant surprise. I, I thought we would have taken more. I really did. I thought we would have taken at least. I don't know, like 80, 90k or something like that, but 50k with no item active. I mean, obviously, with type advantage, right? That's a big. Uh, big factor, but still, that was impressive. That that was impressive. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is is doing his thing, man. Um, one one thing obviously that's like not as good compared to like the crossover team is that he's not supporting the rest of the rotation, right? Because he only supports crossover and giant power, and there's no crossover or giant power on this team aside from himself. So he's only getting the boost for himself. But with that being said. He is still a really monstrous unit, like, by himself, right? Uh, on any other team, even though he's not supporting other people. And it would have been nice if we got that counter off, but it is only 50% after all. So hopefully the next time we get supered on this run, we get that, uh, that counter. Okay, so uh, let me definitely heal up. I'm going to use the Android 8 because we are very close to death. Um, and... Hmm, let me think. Since we're showcasing Super Saiyan 4 Vegito mainly, I mean it's a super it's a all Vegito team showcase, but we're still gonna be focusing on Super Saiyan 4 Vegito as like the new Vegito. Uh, I'm going to go like this and put him in the middle to tank all those attacks. Um obviously we do have extra defense from Aider, but it's not like damage reduction, so it's like not as you know, it's not gonna make as much of a difference. Alright. I'm just making excuses. I know some people are like, yo, bro, why are you even using items? Okay, like, you shouldn't be using items. But I like to play things a little bit on the safer side, as you guys tend to see in these videos. So, um, just leave me alone. Let, let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. It's not like we use that many items. So far, we've used, like, what, two items? Right? Okay, so yeah, he's pretty much around 2.85 with uh, Vegeta Blue as a linking partner. 
We haven't gotten an additional... Man, are you kidding me? We got hit by another super. Okay. Okay, is, is this like the um, Legendary Goku event run? Where I made the mistake of forgetting that MUI Goku actually doesn't allow you to dodge. Like, I know that. Instinctively, I know that. It's just... I forgot, okay? And in that video, I was stupid and I was like... Yo, like, how come he's not dodging that super? And then after I realized, oh crap, it's because, um, you know, he he, he uh, nullifies your unit's ability to dodge. But I don't think Vegito is the same. I mean, not sorry, uh, super, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I don't think he's the same. I'm pretty sure um, he, yeah, can be dodged. So maybe I'm just getting really unlucky. I'm going to pop him as a snake here, by the way. Just in case, um, you know, our Vegito, or, uh, at the end there, the Super Vegito gets super attacked. Like that, that would be the end of us. Right, if you guys are wondering what the beeping in the background is, it's the garage door. Every time it opens, or like the door to the garage, there's like a beeping from our security system. And I think someone's coming back like in and out with stuff. So yeah, if you heard that, that's, that's what that is. Just to avoid any confusion. Uh... Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay, so I, I thought that the STR Vegito might have killed. Oh, you know what? We still might kill him here. Uh, maybe not. Unless we get a crit counter, he should still be alive. Oh, this is good. Okay, perfect. So I want Super Saiyan 4 Vegito to finish this. With a token attack would be perfect. We can actually get this right. Ooh, I don't know actually. Um, there's no tech orbs, but maybe these will be enough still. There we go. Yo, yo, these things almost never work out like this, man. Finally, finally, bro, took you long enough, man. Took you long enough. All right, there we go. So we got a nice counter. Still didn't finish him off though. That shows how much um, HP the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has. And now we can finish things off with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Man, Vegito. I'm getting confused. There's too many fusions, too many Super Saiyan 4s. All right, this is going to do it for sure. And uh, that is going to be the showcase, guys. That was quick. That was quick. That was what, 12, 12 minutes? Less than 12 minutes probably after, uh, since we were talking in the beginning, right? So after we take out the beginning, the intro, it should be right around like 11 minutes and 30, 40 seconds, something like that. Let's see it. It's definitely a record. There we go. So 11.50. My, wow. My previous fastest time was 20 minutes. I suck. Anyways, we used three items. I'll get three more items than I probably should have used, but we survived. And that's all that matters. Super Saiyan 4, Vegito is a beast. Um, the Vegito team is monstrous, and uh, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, no question, the best Super Saiyan 4 uh, from the new batch of Heroes units. But Broly is, I think, right there. I think it's kind of close, but Vegito definitely takes the crown, at least right now. Yo, wait until... Uh, Bardock and Gohan get their awakenings in a year or two. I think the both of them are going to be better than Vegito, but that makes sense because it's obviously so far in the future. But for now, Vegito holds that crown, deservedly so. And that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and that's it. I'm out of here, until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.